Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Across the sea of space, the stars are other suns. Every one of us in the cosmic perspective, precious, if a human disagrees with you, let him live. In a hundred billion galaxies, you will not find another. Science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. One glance at a book and you hear the voice of another person, perhaps someone dead for 1,000 years, to read is to voyage through time. We can't help it. Life looks for life. For me, it is far better to grasp the universe as it really is than to persist in delusion, however satisfying and reassuring. Each of us is a tiny being permitted to ride on the outmost skin of one of the smaller planets for a few dozen trips around the local star. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Imagination will often carry us into worlds that never were, but without it, we go nowhere. For small creatures such as we, the vastness is bearable only through love. It pays to keep an open mind, but not so open your brain falls out. I would love to believe that when I die, I will live again, that some thinking, feeling, remembering part of me will continue. We can judge our progress by the courage of our questions and the depth of our answers, our willingness to embrace what is true rather than what feels good. We are like butterflies who flutter for a day and think it is forever. The nuclear arms race is like two sworn enemies standing waist deep in gasoline, one with three matches, the other with five. The universe is a pretty big place. If it is just us, seems like an awful waste of space. We make our world significant by the courage of our questions and the depth of our answers. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Science is a way of thinking, much more than it is a body of knowledge. The universe seems neither benign nor hostile, merely indifferent. The cure for a fallacious argument is a better argument, not the suppression of ideas. People are not stupid. They believe things for reasons. The last way for skeptics to get the attention of bright, curious, intelligent people is to belittle or condescend or to show arrogance towards their beliefs. The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way the atoms are put together. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. 
The cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. My view is that if there is no evidence for it, then forget about it. An agnostic is someone who doesn't believe in something until there is evidence for it. So I'm agnostic. The absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. But nature is always more subtle, more intricate, more elegant than what we are able to imagine. In all our searching, the only thing we have found that makes the emptiness bearable is each other. Exploration is our nature. We began as wanderers, and we are wanderers still. We have lingered long enough on the shores of the cosmic ocean. We are ready, at last, to set sail for the stars. Understanding is a kind of ecstasy. An organism at war with itself is doomed. If it can be destroyed by truth, it deserves to be destroyed by truth. Books break the shackles of time, proof that humans can work magic. There are no forbidden questions in science, no matters too sensitive or delicate to be probed, no sacred truths. Avoidable human misery is more often caused not so much by stupidity as by ignorance, particularly our ignorance about ourselves. The visions we offer our children shape the future. Books are like seeds. They can lie dormant for centuries and then flower in the most unpromising soil. You are worth about three dollars worth in chemicals. The sky calls to us. If we do not destroy ourselves, we will one day venture to the stars. There are wonders enough out there without our inventing any. Our species needs and deserves a citizenry with minds wide awake and a basic understanding of how the world works. If you wish to make an apple from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Sailors on a beclaimed sea, we sense the stirring of a breeze. It's hard to kill a creature once it's let you see its consciousness. It is said that men may not be the dreams of the god, but rather the gods are the dreams of men. <laughs>